Welcome to Autopilot. This video from AutoFlight Logic focuses on Autopilot's Orbit feature, one of the many modes available. Orbit builds on follow and focus by adding a bearing angle that continually changes based upon a clockwise or counterclockwise pattern. More simply, it sends your quadcopter around a center point at a given radius. This video is intended to provide you an overview of how to use the Orbit feature effectively. Still, we recommend that you read the Flight School documentation and watch the other videos available. In particular, watch the video on Focus since many of the gimbal control lessons can be applied when using Orbit. Before we dive into the fun stuff, I wanted to provide some education and warnings, particularly for people using autonomous flight for the first time. However, if you want to just jump to the how-to's, you can skip forward to three and a half minutes into this video. Autopilot and Flight School do a good job of dividing up the modes available into human flight control and computer flight control. Human flight control allows you to control the quad fully, most notably controlling and focusing the gimbal. Moving to computer flight control is unnerving at first. Watching your quadcopter fly without you does take some getting used to. It's exciting, but be careful and aware to avoid potential problems. I also want to stress a key difference that you should be aware of when using the computer flight control features versus the human flight. When using focus mode, you can safely engage the aircraft, even on the ground without the aircraft taking off. However, if you're in orbit, as well as zip line, follow, etc., and you engage the aircraft, even if that aircraft is off, it will count down and it will take off. Just be aware of this. If you engage the aircraft, it's going up. I recommend that before you even start up your quadcopter or transmitter, that you first think about what you're trying to accomplish. This typically means thinking about the quadcopter's path and the focus of the camera. Specific to orbit, this means, number one, what are you going to rotate around and what is the center point? Number two, what is the radius of the circle or the orbit that you're trying to accomplish? Number three, what is the altitude that you want to be at when rotating? And number four, what are you focusing on? Is it moving or is it stationary? It's very important to know where the PF switch is. If the quad ever starts heading in a direction or a distance that you don't like, flick that switch from F to P. You might even run into a situation where you think you've lost control of your quad. Again, flick that switch from F to P and you'll regain control to fly the quad manually. If needed, you can even switch back to the DJI Pilot app to bring your quad home. As you should every time you fly, check your quad, check the weather, look for people, make sure that you're in F mode, do your calibration, etc. It's even more of an issue in automated mode only because you're relinquishing control. In addition to your quadcopter, check and then recheck the path, the altitude, the points of interest, where you're focusing, etc. Realize that if you flew earlier and are launching from a different flight location, the old points of interest or focus points will still be there. Just be aware. Now let's fly. We're going to start with what I believe is the easiest way to do an orbit. Up top, you can see the focus point as operator or point of interest. If you set this to operator, it will set you to be the center of the circle, even if you move around. You'll also want to check the focus point. At this point, we're going to leave it on subject and center. This will keep the camera focused on the center of the circle. If you've been playing with the focus altitude with other modes, you'll probably also want to make sure that the altitude is set to zero so that it will be focused on ground level. Before we take off or even engage the flight dashboard, let's ensure that we have a safe altitude and radius for the orbit. We can always change this, but I like to make sure that it's reasonable for what I have planned. Now let's go into the flight dashboard. We can check or adjust our settings if we want, again, before takeoff or engaging the aircraft. Now when you first do an orbit, I recommend taking off first before you engage autopilot. This allows you to check the screen, make sure that you have a proper center point, in this case, which is you, and you can also check the altitude or radius again and modify it before you engage. Now let's engage autopilot. It will take you through the pre-flight sequence, set the altitude reference, count down, and then move to the altitude and radius that you want while maintaining the camera focus appropriately. 
Now the orbit will begin, all while maintaining proper focus. I've sped up the video here a little bit, but you can see how effective of an orbit it has created. As the aircraft orbits, we can change the altitude, the radius, or the speed of the aircraft on the fly. You can change the radius on the screen or use the right joystick. Push up on the joystick to decrease the radius, which is actually toward the center of the circle, or push down on the joystick to increase the radius. Since the aircraft orbit is focused on me, the orbit as well as the camera will shift as I walk up the field. This same thing can happen if you're doing an orbit around an object like a boat or a bicycle. Note that the speed available will change based upon the radius of the orbit. A wider orbit will allow you to go at higher speeds. This is done to maintain a smoother circle, especially with small orbits. Let's show how good Autopilot's adaptive horizontal power capability is. In this orbit around the operator, you can see how windy it is just by looking at the trees. Autopilot fights the wind to maintain a good orbit and focus regardless. Let's do things a little different and have it rotate around a point of interest. Take off, but do not engage the aircraft yet. I also recommend setting the altitude to a place above the trees and even setting a tighter radius to start, just to be sure. Fly to the center of where you want to fly around. This can be the top of a tower, above you, or above whatever you're looking to circle, and push the set with aircraft position. Then press center slash point of interest POI. You'll see that that sets the center of your circle. Now, fly outward to the radius of how far you want to be from the center. Press set with aircraft position again, and then press the altitude slash distance button. You've now defined the radius and the altitude of the orbit that you'll be doing. Engage autopilot and it will start to rotate around that center point. Now let's mix things up a little bit. We're doing a simple orbit again around me, but let's change the camera focus point to this building. The quadcopter maintains its orbit, but it will now keep the camera focused on the building, creating a smooth, interesting view. Let's now shift the orbit center via the map. I'm going to hide inline controls to give me more tablet real estate to work with. I'm then going to drag the orbit icon to the building. You'll see that the aircraft immediately adjusts and begins to orbit around the building. While orbiting, I can change the altitude or I can change the radius via the tablet or via the right joystick. I'll quickly demonstrate one more thing for you today. It involves the various focus strategies that are available for you. With touch enabled, the camera will move to where you touch on the screen, providing an easy way to look around at things. My favorite manual strategy is the joystick strategy, which allows you to use the right joystick to control the camera. I find this to be a very effective way to try to find something interesting to look at as I'm flying around in one of the more automated modes. To conclude this video, just remember the following key things before you start using orbit. First, what is the orbit center? Where is the aircraft going to rotate around? Is it stationary or is it moving? Second, what is the orbit radius? How far from the center point will the aircraft rotate? Third, what is the aircraft altitude or the altitude of the aircraft during the orbit itself? Fourth. What is the XY coordinates of the point of interest or the object being focused on by the camera? Is that object stationary or is it moving? And finally, what is the altitude of that point of interest or that object? Again, as I showed you with the lighthouse video under the focus video, you can actually change the altitude of the object being focused on. Orbit is a great tool in your autopilot tool belt. Again, I think the UI and the focus capability is what truly differentiates Orbit from the other autonomous software solutions out there. It's more than just something that flies around a point focused on the center point. It can create very smooth and interesting shots when you're rotating around one thing and focused on something else. Enjoy, and we'll see you in the next video.